Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. As much as you fight, there is one thing you can't force. Are you the greatest or not? You can win countless things, except one. Because a child's love is pure, and as such must be. Muhammad Ali, famously known as the greatest, had a warm and affectionate attitude towards children throughout his life. Despite his larger-than-life persona in the ring, Ali was known for his kindness, playfulness, and genuine interactions with children off the stage. So this right here is my favorite daughter. She likes me better than all of them. It was Rashida. Rashida. Right here is the grown girl. She's grown now. She's four and a half. Oh, she's good, smart as she can be. Her name is Mariam. His name is R I U M, Mariam. And this is Evelyn Muhammad Ali. Evelyn Arabic means son of Muhammad Ali. And that's Jamila. That's the one that don't like me too well. We don't get along too good. This one is almost identical twin, and that one completely different man. That's the same man as the same man. You had her the other way. If the bull should ever capsize, don't panic. Whatever you do, just lay down and conserve your energy, preserve your energy. Learn how to float. Learn how to tread the waters. Because I tipped capsized once on a boat mining, and I started kicking and jumping, and the boat was standing there, and I was holding it and didn't realize. I thought it was going down, but the boat never did go down because they have air on them. So learn how to preserve and conserve energy. Learn how to tread. Learn how to float. And now we are on our way now in the car. We're going to round up some more of the Ali gang because I got to round up children from all over the country. Not only the country, but I want children from Africa, children from China, London. We have to get Mr. Tooth Decay. Ali had a playful and humorous demeanor that children found endearing. He often joked around and engaged in playful banter with young fans, making them feel special and appreciated. say hello for one thing and I don't really know. Well I would I would I would I'd be I'd be very excited. And I would uh Oh s streets and somebody said they want to meet me and some I just got powers like that. Oh, sweat! <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see five seconds in the life of a kid he'll never forget mixing it up with the champ. How about that? Are you scared? Camp of the champ. Ain't nobody running us out of here because we will get them all in the Ali gang all over the world when we say that's it, that's it. Ali had a deep empathy for children facing adversity, especially those dealing with illness or challenging circumstances. Well, 
I would say yes. I have a great responsibility to do all I can uh, as an image to uh, lead them into doing the right things. I would say I'm not a leader, but all I can do is uh, do the best I can, hoping that they will follow after me. Like, uh, like for an example, uh, I think that uh, the smoking that they are trying to do at a young age. You know, I just encourage this and the drinking and the mistreatment of the women and uh, the uh, stealing and gang wars and fighting and killing one another, which is going on throughout the United States. And as long as I can obey the laws of the land, as long as it don't conflict with my religious beliefs and live as clean as I can, hoping that some of them will be impressed by it and see the success that I have and try to follow me in that way. He frequently visited hospitals to spend time with sick children, offering them words of encouragement and hope. Despite his fame, Ali remained accessible and approachable to children. He would take time to sign autographs, pose for photos, and interact with young fans, leaving a lasting impression on many. Ali saw children as the future and believed in inspiring them to dream big and pursue their goals. He often spoke about the importance of education, self-belief, and standing up for one's principles serving as a role model for young people worldwide. Very few people actually give and don't look for nothing in return. And I try to be a true giver. So whether it's buses or whatever I do, my reward is in knowing I'm helping the people, knowing the children have buses, knowing the teachers can educate them and then help them. So my reward ain't in going to the press and telling the press so people can say, ain't that nice with what he did. My reward is in God himself knowing that I did and me knowing that I did. Throughout his life, Ali supported numerous charitable causes that benefited children, including organizations focused on education, health care, and social welfare. His efforts aimed to improve the lives of children globally, reflecting his commitment to making a positive impact beyond boxing. Overall, Muhammad Ali's attitude towards children was characterized by warmth, compassion, and a genuine desire to connect with and uplift young people. His legacy extends beyond his accomplishments in the ring to his profound impact on generations of children who were inspired by his courage, resilience, and unwavering spirit. These are the kind of fans I got. She don't follow boxing, she just follows Ali. <laughs> Muhammad, it was in this very room that I taught you when you were eight years old She's in the third there. grade. <laughs> and you sat in this seat where Don Tavis is sitting now. He is somewhat like you. I remember when you were at that age. And when I reprimanded you, your classmates answered, Miss Carter, did you ever see him fight? And then I answered, fight? Who has ever done anything with fighting? But now I laugh about that. Because since I've left the classroom, I've directed the YWCA, and I sent for you to make a speech. You not only made the speech, you brought me $10,000 for the drive and wrote the check right there. Now many boys and girls are happy because of the $10,000 that you gave. So fighting did do something for you. Muhammad, the kids have a message for you. You know, this is the greatest fight of all time. Children this small uh, uh, want to see it. So this little girl was talking to mother dare the fight. She says, Mommy, may I go to a convention hall instead of out to play and witness the great annihilation caused by Cassius Clay? No, baby, no, you may not go. For the crowd will be fierce and wild. Gambling and betting, winning and losing isn't good for little child. But mother, I won't be alone. Other children will be with me. Cassius says that he is the greatest and we all would like to see. Okay, darling, you may go but come right home after the show. 
when she got to the fight, it was really great. Sonny Liston fell, as predicted in eight. And as the people left the fight, you could hear them say, this kid is a legend that Cassius Clay. If all kids just had folks, what a great world this would be.